Hello, I'm Michael. There has been a national school in Ballyboy since the 1600s. The old building, which was located by the roadside, was subsequently demolished in 1960, and the present school was built further back in from the road, and has been extended twice in 96 and 2004. Attending national school is the first major move for our young children's lives, leaving the safety and security of the family home and learning to cope with the big outside world. Skullbridge is a beautiful and well-equipped modern facility, and like all national schools, aims to provide a happy, secure and friendly environment for the intellectual, spiritual, physical, moral and emotional needs of the children are fostered. All children are valued as individuals. When our children leave Skullbridge, they will have the basic skills of reading, writing, numeracy, and enthusiasm for, for learning, a thirst for knowledge, and appreciation for the world we live in, and all happy memories. Here is some music from some of our former pupils. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Emer Buckley. We're on the banks of the beautiful Silver River, and in ancient times, this location was a very important meeting point on the old road between the Dangan area stronghold of the O'Connor clan and the Borough area stronghold of the O'Carrolls. The oldest known map of this area was drawn up in 1796 by a man called Lewis, showing the barony of Ballyboy covering most of South Offaly. At that time, there were over 400 people living in this catchment area. The population almost halved during the famine, and we have a burial plot in the village to commemorate those who were buried during the Great Famine. Ballyboy over the years had its own flour mill, a hatter's factory, a hotel lodging house, a wood mill, a castle, and a monastery founded by St. Bridget, and also a small distillery and public house. Those times it was known as Ballyboy, the town of the Yellow Ford. How much times have changed? Today, Ballyboy is a typical quiet rural village with a school and a public house, and the main activity in this area is intensive farming. Here we have a beautiful picnic and recreation area for local and visiting families to visit and enjoy. Over to the group.
I'm Rosemary. Lotus culture earring is a very important part of the fabric of rural life in Ireland and is a masterful addition to social and family life for all their members. We had a strong history of music and dance in Ballyboy, which needed nurturing, so we're privileged to have formed our Coltis branch in 2000. From very humble beginnings, we have built the branch up to be one of the largest and more progressive branches in the Midlands. A small but hard-working and dedicated committee rose to the task of organising all our activities and promoting Coltis to the local area and beyond. We would like to express a huge debt of gratitude to all the people who joined with us and helped us along the way. The joy and happiness created by the meeting of your neighbours and friends and enjoying the evenings of music, song and dance is still as invigorating as ever. Ballyboy CC have an array of diverse activities, such as workshops, sessions, concerts and classes, which allow for engagement and interaction for all levels and ages. On my left, you have the Sleeve Bloom Mountains and on my right, the village of Ballyboy. Over now to Luke, who will sing a lovely song called My Home at the Foot of the Sleeve Bloom. I was dreaming last night of my homeland and my home in the Emerald Isle where peace and contentment's abounding and laughter is heard all the while. I see once again my companions as they sit in the midst of a room, sharing the joys of our childhood near my home at the foot of Schlieff Bloom. I stroll once again to the heather and gaze on a fast flowing stream where nature surrounds us with beauty more beautiful now in my dreams i see once again my dear mother as she kneels by the old settle bed my brothers and sisters around her, the family rosary is said. I hear the clear notes of the fiddle as it rings out a gay lilting tune. Oh, there's dancing tonight at the crossroads near my home at the foot of Schlieff Bloom. I see once again the old chapel as it rings to an organ sweet tune. Oh, why did I ever abandon my dear home at the foot of Schlieff Bloom? But my dreaming of homeland is ending, and a vision more radiant I see, where God and his mother are waiting, in heaven with angels for me. One request I would ask of my Saviour, when my life was his come, full bloom. Oh, please, God, won't you make me my heaven round my home at the foot of Schlieff Bloom. Hello, I'm Aoife Clemartin. Today we're here at St. Bridget's Church and Graveyard in Ballyboy. The area is steeped in local history. According to an extract, the original St. Mary's was built in 1682. The present St. Bridget's, although it, it's in ruins, was built in 1815 for a total sum of £900. This church was used by Church of Ireland and Catholic worshippers. It finally closed in 1970 due to the size of the congregation and has since fallen to ruins. I will hand you over to Mara who will play a slow air called Lament for Tom MacDale.
The 1916 Rising was one of the most important events in Ireland's fight for freedom, and this memorial stone was unveiled here on Easter Sunday 2016 to commemorate the events of the 1916 Rising, which led to the founding of the Irish Free State. Now we have Kimberly to play Lament for Kinsale. At the end, Kimberly will be joined by Grace, Maura, and Caitlin for a short trio selection. Dan and Molly's in Molly Ahogui. This is Mrs. Sharon, next by Meg Shenim Kyol and Sutton East Cheney. Today we are standing outside Bally Boy's iconic public house, Dan and Molly's, which is well known far and wide and has names documented in the visitor's book from all countries of the world. Dan and Molly's is situated in Bally Boy village on the foothills of the majestic Schlieve Bloom Mountains and is the only straw thatched pub in the county of Offaly. This family-run public house with a 200-year-old pedigree has many a story to tell. Inside, the walls are decked with photographic memories and since the early 1800s, it has been a continuous place of conviviality where tall tales are often told. To this day, it carries on the tradition as a place for music, 
card games, sports analysis and general crack. Katie Lynch, who was Molly's mother, took over the running of the pub in 1937. She and her husband Jack ran a successful business during the turbulent war years and thereafter. From 1979, Molly and Dan took over the business until his passing in 2002. And since then, she is joined by Katrina and her husband Fergal. The family have a keen interest in the arts as the music has been passed through four generations. Namely, Jack Ryan, his daughter Molly, granddaughters Katrina and Stella, and now the great-grandchildren, Daniel, John, Sean, Anna and Katie. We in Ballyboy Cultus are indebted to the family to have the use of this unique premises for meetings, lessons and various cultus events. folks i sure hope you enjoyed your brief journey into our music the heritage and life of our beautiful village of ballyboy music and dance has always been an integral part of life in ballyboy and we're delighted to have formed our own branch of Kyoto's court of the year to develop the tradition of music song and dance for our children and to prepare pupils for ongoing Kyoto's competitions performances and local events I'd advise any person who has a keen interest in music to take up an instrument and learn to play. It's an amazing experience once you've mastered the ability to play. You're assured of making loads of new friends. It's an opportunity to bring lots of happiness to a lot of people. Here in Body by Codis, we're always open to new members, regardless if you play an instrument or not. The benefits of being a member of Codis branch cannot be underestimated. 
from the friendships formed and the skills acquired to the sense of purpose at being an important part of this wonderful voluntary group. If you join Body by CC, you will be, like all visitors to our village, guaranteed a very friendly and a homely welcome. Please visit our new website, bodybycce.com, for all information on Body by Codis and much more. Thank <laughs> you.